I've hand-drawn bubble diagrams and arrows and scanned them in and made them ready for you to use so you can make something like this. I start by laying a grid down as my foundation before I put my floor plan on top. This is included in the bubble diagrams pack in top view and isometric view. I put my floor plan right on top and I make sure to rasterize the layer as well as change the blend mode to multiply. This is so I could see the grid background right through the plan. The floor plan I'm using here is one floor plan out of my basic floor plan pack. I'll put a link down below so you can check them out. Now I open my bubble diagrams folder and it's as simple as click and drag. You'll notice that the bubbles and the arrows still have their white background and I left it there on purpose because I wanted to retain all the detail and leave that sketchy look. I just put the blend mode as multiply and you'll be able to see right through it. The whole purpose of this pack is that it looks like you've actually sketched it and scanned it in, so don't be afraid to layer lines on top of each other. After all my bubbles are in place, I open my arrows folder and I start clicking and dragging the ones I want, making sure to keep the blend mode on multiply so I can see right through them. You can fill the walls of your floor plan in many different ways, but I like to create a new layer and fill them up with a solid color, and then I just reduce the opacity so it doesn't look like it's overriding the sketchy lines. Now I'm going to show you how to make a similar concept in an isometric view. The isometric grid is already part of the pack, so I just click and drop that in. To get the floor plan in the isometric view as well, I just press command T as a shortcut and the angle is negative 30 and the height is 30. Then I just apply the same transformation of angle and the height adjustment to all the layers so that way everything is in isometric view. Something that I love to do is to add text and make that into isometric view as well. All you need to do is to rasterize the text layer and make the same transformation with negative 30 and 30 or 30 and negative 30. I've actually made it much more easier for you. I've saved and prepared all the bubbles and the arrows in the isometric view as left and right already. So all you have to do is just click and drag and they're already in their isometric view. Now it's time to add some color. So I hide the arrows and the bubbles layers and the isometric grid as well. And then I make a new layer and I get the bucket, I choose the color I want and I just fill in the center, making sure that the all layers on top is ticked. You can also add the colors to the bubbles themselves by making a new layer and filling them in. You can play with the opacity and this works great especially if you want to color coordinate your entire floor plan. And don't forget, if you want something in the isometric view but in the different direction, the angle is 30 and the height is negative 30. There's so many ways that you can play with these. Make sure to tag me with what you create. It would make me really happy and motivate me to keep making new things for you guys.